Secretary, for being with us. Um, the world has entered a period of significant technological advancement, which has sparked what's being described as the fourth industrial revolution. The economy is changing so rapidly and so profoundly that in some cases, um, we may not even know what some of the jobs of the future may be. Um, according to the World Economic Forum's report, The Future of Jobs, 65% of children starting school today will have jobs that do not yet exist. Um, additionally, an Accenture report found that 74% of business and information technology leaders in 31 countries say their organization is entering areas that have yet to be defined. While this progress means new opportunities, it also means new challenges. And according to the OECD, nearly 10% of jobs in, in OECD countries are at risk of being completely displaced by automation. So despite all of this, um, I haven't heard you mention what the Department of Labor is doing to pivot to focus on the new economy or the fourth industrial revolution. And I wondered if you could tell us how the Department of Labor is allocating resources to prepare American workers for the jobs of tomorrow and ready itself for the impact of things like automation and artificial intelligence. Congresswoman, there, um, these are very important questions. And uh, you know, it's interesting that, that you cite the World Economic Forum because I was talking about these very same questions at, at their annual conference. Uh, a few points. First, uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics came out with a report in 95 and came out with a follow-up report in 2005. It did not come up with a third report in 2015, but hopefully will be coming out with uh, a report uh, no later than this summer on, um, on the gig economy, the entrepreneurial economy, uh, to really measure and try to quantify how our economy is changing. Between 95 and 2005, there wasn't that much of a change, but I personally believe that there is a substantial change between 2005 and now. Um, the second thing, and this came up at, at that, that meeting and, um, and was addressed by the World Economic Forum, is uh, often we focus on the jobs that are being taken away and, and forget the jobs that are being added. And so one of the discussions at the World Economic Forum was between various online platforms, Etsy, eBay, and others. Uh, there are now 20 million small businesses here that have access to a global marketplace. And so a small business, um, something that could be Mr. operated Secretary, out of a I'm, home. I'm going to run out of time. I'm, but when you look at in, automation and artificial intelligence, those impacts are things that aren't necessarily jobs that are existing today. And so the question is, how are we being future looking and how are you putting resources towards being future looking? Um, I've been working on legislation that would require you along with the Departments of Education and Commerce to help forecast the new economy. I hope you would work with me on that. Thank you, I yield Glad back. Glad to do so. Gentlelady yields back. Mr. Kelly, you're recognized.